Welcome to Global Ocean TV, brought to you by the Terramar Project. I am today's host, Rob Foose. Here are the headlines. Pope's encyclical on climate change and environmental stewardship released. Citing scientific consensus that we are witnessing a disturbing warming of the Earth's climate, Pope Francis called for a bold cultural revolution to halt humanity's spiral into self-destruction. There could be no renewal of our relationship with nature, Francis said, without a renewal of humanity itself. The Pope's statement came Thursday in the form of an encyclical, a letter traditionally addressed from St. Peter's Square to the more than one billion Catholics across the globe. Derived from the Greek word for a circle, an encyclical is among the Church's most authoritative teaching documents. Changing the face of global shipping, will China build a canal for Nicaragua? Preliminary work to build a 170-mile interoceanic canal across Nicaragua has begun at a cost to date of hundreds of millions of dollars. Land has been surveyed, routes identified, negotiations started with landholders. Yet secrecy still cloaks the project, whose ramifications are vast. Tens of thousands of Nicaraguans would be displaced, and hundreds of square miles of land would be given over to the Chinese company that holds the concession to build a canal. Other ramifications can only be guessed at. The impact the canal would have on Nicaragua's environment has yet to be made public. Also uncalculated, the ramifications on world trade that would come from the inter-ocean passage of ships so large that most U.S. ports can't handle them. Mission accomplished for satellite measuring ocean salinity. An Argentine satellite hosting a NASA sensor designed to measure the saltiness of Earth's oceans has ended its mission after four years in orbit, NASA said Wednesday. The spacecraft shut down a year shy of its five-year design life, but scientists say its primary instrument, the NASA-built Aquarius Ocean Salinity and Soil Moisture Sensor, achieved all its objectives and exceeded its three-year mission goal. Bad weather ruins world record attempt by a U.S. woman to row across the Pacific Ocean. After only eight days into her adventure, Sonia Baumstein had to abort her journey due to bad weather and was rescued 155 miles off the coast of Japan. She had been trying to set the record for being the first woman to row across the entire Pacific Ocean from Japan to San Francisco. Giant Oarfish In this episode of Weird Fins, all about strange stuff in the sea from Noah, Bill in Alexandria, Virginia wants to know if there's a real-life sea monster that's shiny silver and has a big red crest on its head. Of course, this really is an oarfish, and at 50 feet, probably the longest of all fishes. Check out these stories in the Daily Catch and tune back in tomorrow for the best ocean, river, and lake news from around the world. Thank you.